Good evening once again. I'm Keith Ranford. The doors to churches all over New York State are open once again, but there are some limitations you have to know about. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ella Araby takes us inside a local mosque, getting ready for the faithful to return. Muslims are required to pray five times a day, and worshipers do so in mosques. But after the spread of COVID-19, mosques, churches, and temples had to close. There's a no-show because of it. But Governor Cuomo announced over the weekend that houses of worship may resume public gatherings at 25% capacity. Aruk Gaskin chatted with me on the steps of Masjid Dar es Salaam in Buffalo. He's this mosque's muezzin, or the man who calls Muslims to prayer five times a day. He says he's happy to get back to prayer and worship. That was the first thing that came to my mind and all the other participants here at Dar es Salaam that we can get back to the Ibadah, which means worship to our Lord. Gaskin showed me inside the mosque, which is empty since it's not yet prayer time. Although worshipers pray several times a day here, the largest gathering is on Friday or Juma in Arabic. Juma will be this coming up this Friday and you know, we anticipate to have uh, our normal crowd is about 40 to 50 people. So uh, whatever the law allows us to have, uh, we'll regulate it according to that. Gaskin says the mosque has masks and hand sanitizer, and they do a thorough cleaning of the carpet they pray on twice a day. I asked him why it's important that people gather in a mosque to pray instead of praying at home. The reason for the gathering of the prayer is because uh, the, the, there's more strength and there's more uh, blessings going up to our Creator uh, for the more people that pray together. 